Friends, you know, you might be thinking you want to feel comfy and cozy. One of the quickest ways you can do that in your space is to add some texture, maybe some faux fur. Please welcome Shai DeLuca Tomasi. Good. Hey. It helps to have nice big hugs, too. Yes. So you had some fun uh, looking around for fur alternatives yep. and sustainable fur that we might be able to incorporate into our decor. You got it. Where'd you go? So we went to Twist Lane Alpacas. Now here's the thing about sustainable furs. You know me, I'm a big animal lover. So yes. I want to make sure that the furs that we use, if we're going to use real furs, are sustainable and right. we're not hurting the animal. We're not farming it for the fur. Rather, it's something that happens naturally. Mm -hmm. So alpacas are a really interesting animal because they come from Peru. They live on the mountains, but the ones live lower down are actually uh, sheared every year for their safety because they overheat. Oh. So it's good for them to shear them and that's what we do here in Canada in the summers as well too. Okay. Okay so it's not something that you know it doesn't hurt them it's yes. good for them and uh, it's sustainable which is really important. So I we just need to see all of this on a farm. Oh it was good <laughs> okay, and we actually so have a video. We have some video. We do. <laughs> all right so this guy on a farm did you wear proper that's footwear? That's not me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I did wear proper footwear. I Good did, yeah. You. It was so much fun. I mean, they're so cute. They're very <laughs> docile animals. And we were going to bring one to the studio, but they're herd animals. So we didn't we didn't want to bring a herd. So we, so instead, not. so instead we brought my friend here. He, he's, he's my Equally Peruvian. Cute. Equally cute, right? Very nice. So very curious. You see them coming right up to the camera? Right up to the camera. They're very nice, very curious, very docile animals. So it was okay. a lot of fun. So the stuff that we have over here is actually from Twist Lane Farms. And we brought some of the actual fiber you in. So this? this is right off of the alpaca. Oh, this is I didn't share them, but this is right. <laughs> <laughs> this is right off the alpaca. Okay. And the interesting thing is that they don't dye the fibers. They actually come off the alpaca just like this. This color. This They're color. Pretty vibrant. The colors. Right. Actually. They're yeah. really cool. So if you look at actually after they've been woven, these are the actual fibers woven, but they have not been dyed. Oh, that's so cool. Right. So you could go and you'd be like, I want a gray alpaca, and, yeah. and it's like it, you know you can choose kind of your decor based obviously on the fiber itself. Okay. So over here, is this made with alpaca? This is all alpaca fiber. So these are all. Letiera, okay. and they're fantastic. I mean, it's so great to be able to see a sustainable nice. product go into something that we see in home decor, so we don't have to use real uh, furs that are oftentimes um, sheared or, or taken yeah. off an animal in an inhumane way. So these Absolutely. are fantastic. And what I love about uh, Letiera is they're also making actually duvet inserts. So this is actually wow. filled with alpaca, which is great because it is hypoallergenic. Oh, so nice. yeah, which is really important and super warm. Now okay. the interesting thing about the uh, the fur, it's or sorry, the fiber itself is the lower you go down towards the skin yeah. the softer the fiber is the higher up the coarse more coarse it is so this is actually filled with the more coarse fiber because you don't feel it Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, well, after the show today, we are going to draw for a uh, throw from La Tierra Alpaca. So yes. you can have one of these. This is our, yeah, that's actually a star. Right? Do it. <laughs> I like it. Do it. All right. Yeah, well, just work for the rest of the show, right? Isn't she awesome? Okay, let's go, <laughs> let's over, go here over here and let's talk a little bit about how you might want to incorporate some of this gorgeous, either sustainable fur or faux fur right. into your decor. So the challenge with uh, designing with fur is that it can often end up looking like a lodge. Right. <laughs> you don't want it to look like the water <laughs> buffalo lodge in the Flintstones, right? Fur, every, <laughs> fur everywhere. So we have to be really conscious of the fact, people say three to four pieces, I say one to two. Right. One to two is more than enough. So here we already have three. Everything in the set is from LT, so beautiful pieces, but we have this beautiful faux chinchilla Ooh. throw. Now feel this, Tracy, because it's oh up, right? Oh my gosh. I mean, I would just sleep on this every day. It's absolutely, absolutely. gorgeous. Absolutely. You do not need the real thing when no, you have No, you don't. And that's the thing, is that faux furs have come such a long way. It used to be like, people, I don't want to do faux fur because it looks like a Muppet. Yeah. But now, they're really, really, uh, they're, they're uh, original looking. And they, so they, they feel good. Too. They feel fantastic. Yeah. So I have three here, way too many. I'm actually going to take out these two ottomans here. Okay. And I'm going to pull out these instead. Uh, and already I feel a little bit better. It's like not as lodgy feeling. Yeah. It's not as uh, heavy. Yeah. And it's a lot lighter and it's a lot nicer. Now the other thing is, uh, look at the tone and the fur uh, and the length of the fur itself. So if you notice here, it's quite short, mm -hmm. but this is true to a chinchilla fur. 
If you look over here at the pillow, it's this longer. is actually alpaca though. So this is an alpaca pillow. Oh, wow. Beautiful, right? That's very nice. And it's longer, so it looks more original, more authentic. Yes. And that's really important when choosing the fur. You want to make it look as authentic as possible so it doesn't start to look juvenile almost. Absolutely. Okay, so you have to think about the, the, the length of the, the fur as well. Absolutely. Now, in terms of colorways, mm -hmm. you know, there are so many different fun colorways that you can get out there with faux furs now. And they're fantastic for younger kids, for maybe more a juvenile design concept that you're doing but yeah. when you're looking to design your own home in your own space I say go neutral and go lighter the lighter okay. more neutral colors are easier to transition and you can still keep this out in the summer but it doesn't feel as heavy if this were to yeah. be black it might feel too heavy in the summer and if you live in a warmer climate for example it might be too heavy all over the season so it would be easier to keep a lighter and a shorter we'll call it a shorter pile on the actual fur itself so no red faux fur then well you can you can but maybe in the Weird. children's bed Okay. <laughs> in the children's Got bedroom. It. Okay. Uh, pairing faux furs with the right materials is really important. Yes. Because faux furs add texture to a space that without them, we just add, we don't have that extra kind of layer. Right. Now, if you imagine if I took this away and I took then this uh, uh, pillow away, it seems boring. flat and turned, boring. And bit. it's not as warm as an inviting. And even though all the pieces are fantastic, mm -hmm. just adding these two faux fur pieces makes it feel so much warmer, so much more inviting. And I really like to use... Furs originally were in a traditional kind of sense were in a very traditional space right. But I love taking something like this and throwing it into a contemporary space because it gives it that unexpected kind of juxtaposition of something that we wouldn't otherwise expect Absolutely, and I think that's a real key uh, factor to a good design space a well-designed yes. space The other thing is is that sometimes people find it a little bit uh, Overwhelming to be able to design with furs because like we said it starts to look a little bit like a lodge right. If you're not sure how to do it my key would be to start with your bedroom the bedrooms are the mm -hmm. easiest to do because you'll put a pillow in there it makes sense you'll put a throw in there it makes sense sometimes this people are a little bit uncomfortable with because they don't know how to balance it correctly right. so look at how I balanced the room here the large beautiful oversized sectional but it has a very raw linen look to it yeah. so it's still contemporary but it balances the fur well and then those two chairs next to you over there they're almost like a tub chair but the detail on them oh, very nice phenomenal they're beautiful I mean I, when I when I was uh, sourcing them someone said to me they look like a baseball glove and it's it's interesting yeah. how people kind of read off things. It's true. Now the audience is like, oh, yes, they do. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but it's interesting to see how the black kind of heavy leather balances this lighter kind of uh, look in the fur, even though the fur itself is a heavier material. So it's all grounding it. It's because all grounding it and Because I think maybe people's balance. problem with the fur is that it, it, can be, it can be seen as like really whimsical it'll it'll look it can look like too much very easily so absolutely this, everything else you have here is grounding it including the metallics absolutely and then the final thing really is the washability so washability okay. is really key when you're designing with faux furs because faux fur the kind of nice thing about it is that you can oftentimes throw it into the wash yes so my tip is make sure you look at the washing instructions usually the lower furs are easier to wash but when you dry them in the dryer they fluff right back up and they look fantastic yeah, so like you never know true. Yeah. okay really good points yeah. I love that, and this that feels great. You keep that. That's yours. Well, thank you.